Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. We are going to see the very short term for PRO against USD. And of course, before we continue, do not forget to join our monthly subscription. Links in the description box. You can either join Buy Me A Coffee, Patreon or our site BillMindYourCrypto.com and you will get very, very easy profits. You will also join our weekly report for altcoin gems for every category in cryptocurrency market okay so you will also get a manual system with over 90 percent win ratio personal guidance every day an automated system with 200 altcoins you will know exactly when to buy and exactly when to sell them you will also get market updates random giveaways live trading pine scripts and many many other benefits join us thank you for watching have a fantastic day wherever you are let's go and proceed quickly into pro against usd on the four on the one hour frame actually to see the very short term okay so right now, surpassing this area of 4.82 will get us to the 5.81, 5.45 and so on. If we have some nice, nice little targets right there, drawing the Fibonacci from this top right here, ending up to this bottom back on 17th January, okay, yesterday. So right here we had a huge buying pressure, we had a sell pressure afterwards, and we had this upper shadow of the candlestick. Usually these shadows are getting covered. Either, either we are covering them when we have lower shadows, okay, so lower shadows and upper shadows are getting filled with the recent price action. Therefore, we expected that this upper shadow will get filled as well okay so for the time being we are good but pay attention that we have to break the 4.82 first because this is a major resistance level and anything between these lines right here this rectangle is a very strong resistance level okay so eventually we have to get past above the here to get to the next price targets let's see the risk metrics and right now you can see that we are floating on the one hour frame near the 70s so we have an impulsive wave on the one hour frame but at the end of the day we have also a great risk right here okay and you should be careful same with the commodity channel index that is floating near the 100 into an overbought situation again and of course the fisher transform that now is above the red dotted line so we have a great great overbought situation right there for the Fisher transform okay a strong Bitcoin might help pro going even higher but at the end of the day we are having a correction there as well so things are a little bit scary for now but anyway we might be managing to do it we have to break above and to close above first these lines right here okay then if we do that we could go to the next price targets right there so let's see the Bollinger Bands okay on the Bollinger Bands you can see that where we are on impulsive wave mode we are riding the top line of the Bollinger Bands usually when we go and correct we stop either at the 20 day EMA 50 day exponential moving average or the bottom line of the Bollinger Bands right here okay so the bottom line serves as a support level the top line serves as a resistance level it is very possible that if we correct let's say that we cannot surpass this lines and we correct to find a little bit of a buying pressure at the 3.80 to 3.95 around there 90 actually okay to go into the 20 day exponential moving average or to go into the 3.56 we are going to see about that though but first we have to break as I, we talked about before we have to break the 4.65 okay to 4.82 to get into the next price targets right there and i think that if we can manage to go there we can manage to go even even higher for the time being though due to its high volatility right there please be careful into these trades okay because these altcoins get a massive pump up and then a very quick dump okay and it is very possible if you do not set a stop loss that you will be losing money this is not financial advice of course none of these are financial advices just my personal opinion but i'm telling you that in these cases, when you see quick pump ups, you need to, to put a stop loss. For example, when you see, when you saw that Pro is doing this one right here, price action, and you want to buy, you're willing to buy, then you can buy, but set a stop loss near, so you will be sure that you won't lose your money right there, and you won't have your money locked in for quite some time right there, okay? So anyway, the point here is that we have a very high risk, and you should be careful, but we also have some targets in which you might if we go above these targets we might be getting into the next targets right there the 5.65 5.84 and so on but we first have to close above 
these lines right here, this whole rectangle that we talked about in the video. If we do not close above these lines, then it is too risky. And the good buying entry though would be around the 3.56 as well, maybe a little bit lower for Pro, we will see about that. But anyway, keep an eye on these support levels right here. We might have a bounce from there. We need to see though the momentum, we need to see how far we can correct. You can see that now that I'm doing the video, it is rapidly going towards the first support level that we had already okay but you are going to see this volatility is going to have huge bounce maybe correction after and so on people are here getting scared that's why you are seeing and they are getting short positions right there that's why you are seeing this long candlestick of around minus 16 percent in just one hour okay we do not know how this one hour will close though but we are getting many many short positions liquidated and of course people are getting scared right here that they are going to lose all the money and of course that's why we are seeing this very very high uh a very very huge price action right there very huge correction the reason i did the video is because i want to warn you about these recent price actions i have been a victim of myself at around let's say that i have bought for example here near the top and then i sold at the lower position right there at the start of my trading career right here and when i did these mistakes i was very very sad i was uh you know a little bit um actually the desperate that i'm i'm not going to make it okay i'm not going to get the money back again but with patience and steady wins the race trust me patience is the key for success in the cryptocurrency market and if you have been locked in here do not worry you will get your money back but you have to learn technical analysis and of course know what to do and of course um you can join our monthly subscription in order to do all of this. Do not forget that you can join one of the three links in the description box, whatever you want, whatever you want, you can choose it. And so we are going to have a market update about Pro if you want me to. Another market update as well, write in the comments. And thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. See you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.